So hello students, let's move on to the tricky part of exercise 2.5 of polynomials wherein you have to give possible expressions for the length and breadth of each of the following rectangles in which area are given. So this is the area that is given for my rectangle 1. Now we know that solution for the first one, area of rectangle is nothing but length into breadth right so which means my area 25 a square minus 35 a plus 12 I need to factorize it into it in, into its products that is two products one is going to be the length and the other one is going to be breadth right So I'm just going to leave it for now because I need the two products. Now what does this mean? I need to factorize 25a square minus 35a plus 12 because factorizing is nothing but finding the products and putting them together for my expression. So how am I going to factorize this? By splitting the middle term. Okay. So revising I have 25a square minus 35a plus 12. Now I need to split my 35 into two terms m1 and m2 such that m1 plus m2 should give me 35 which is the middle term and m1 into m2 should give me the product of this term and this term which is just the coefficient 25 into 12. So how am I going to write my 35 so that I get the sum, uh, how do I split my 35 to get these two as the products, right? 25 into 12, now this can be written, uh, I can write my, first of all, let's see, 25 into 12 can be written as uh, 5, 5 is 25 and 12 can be written as 4 into 3, right? How about 5, 4 is 20 and 15, right? Let's add this 20 into 15 20 into 15 is giving me 25 into 12 right as well as 20 plus 15 is giving me 35 but there is a negative sign over here so let's say I write this as minus 20 into minus 15 which will again give me 25 into 12 okay and 35 this is minus 35 right so this can be written as this is minus 35 so this can be written as minus 20 minus 15 right so therefore this is equal to 25 a square minus 20 a minus 15 a plus 12 right factor uh, now I'll remove the common terms now what is common between 25 and 20 of course it is 5 and between a square and a it is a so 5a 5a 5 5 uh, 5 5 is a 25 so 5a minus 4 right minus 3 because 3 is common be between 15 and 12 so 3 5 is a 15 15a minus 4 now i have a i have taken the negative sign outside therefore this sign becomes negative now 5a minus 4 is common for both these terms so I'm going to remove 5a minus 4 common so I get 5a minus 4 and 5a minus 3 right therefore I have factorized this term into two products right so 5a minus 4 and 5a minus 3 right therefore I will say where do I write my answer? I'll write my answer over here. This is my working space. Okay. Answer. Length is equal to 5a minus 4 units. And breadth is equal to 5a minus 3 units. 
or vice versa. You can write 5a minus 3 is the length and 5a minus 4 is the breadth. Okay? And mentioning units is very important because it's not been specified whether this is centimeters or meters. So, uh, any uh, whenever you're trying to find the volume or area, it will always have dimensions. Okay? So, length is so many units and breadth is so many units. Right? Let's go ahead and solve uh, the question number two using the same strategy okay so my question two the area is 35 y square plus 13 y minus 12 right so solution area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth that is l into b i am just writing l for length and b for breadth so therefore 35 y square plus 13 y minus 12 is equal to one product and the other one factor and the other factor, product of these two factors, right? One will be the length and the other one will be the breadth. So, I need to factorize this. I will use the same method that we did in question number one, that is split the middle term, right? To factorize. So, my working space is here, 35 y square plus 13 y minus 12. Now, I need to split 13 plus 13 into two terms, m1 and m2, such that m1 plus m2 will give me 13 right and m1 into m2 will give me 35 into minus 12 right so 35 can be written as 5 7s are 35 right and minus 12 can be written as 4 into minus 4 into 3 or 3 into minus 4 right so let's take five sevens uh, how about five fours are 20 or seven fours are 28 so minus 28 and five threes are 15 at minus 28 plus 15 you get 13 right but you need a positive 13 and the sign of the greater number here is minus so i'll say 28 into minus 15 right so 13 can be written as minus 28 oh, sorry 28 minus 15 right and m1 into m2 can be written as 28 into minus 15 right so let's substitute this value over here i get This is equal to 35, 35 y square plus 13 y minus 12 can be written as 35 y square plus 28 y minus 15 y minus 12, right? See the importance of the sign because here you have positive and here you have negative. Accordingly, you have to take your terms, right? So, what is common between 35 and 28? You have 7 and between y square and y, you have y. So, 7 5s are 35, y plus 7 4s are 28, right? Again, here you have 3 common. So, 3 5s are 15, y plus 3 4s are 12. Notice the negative and positive signs. Since I took negative sign outside, my sign inside changes. Now, 5 y plus 4 is common for both these terms. So, I take it out. 5 y plus 4 and finally, 7y minus 3 right so I have factorized my polynomial into two factors so therefore my length will be one of these so I'll let's say it is 5y plus 4 and breadth is 7y minus 3 right therefore let me erase this section for you the answer length is 5x 
5y plus 4 units and breadth is 7y minus 3 units. Okay, so you saw how we factorize polynomials to find the dimensions of your rectangle, which is nothing but length into breadth. Right? So let's continue with the last sum in the next class. Okay, thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.